Herzliya uh, was born in London in 1957. Uh, her first collection, um, Bukhara, uh, won the 2007 Poetry Business Book and Pamphlet Competition. Her second collection, The Essay, uh, was a translation, uh, one translation from, from Lord Gavin and Celia Atkin, and was published in Hebrew by Amo Beid. Is Hanisui? Can't even read it. Hanisui. Hanisui. Ah, that's interesting. There's two words here. Okay. Uh, her third collection, after Semyon. Uh, oh, you say it. After Semyon Israelovich Lipkin. This is my. I need better glasses. And was the Poetry Book Society's translation choice for uh, winter in 2011? Yvonne Green. Let's see what I've got of yours here. Mm -hmm. Yes, take that. I'm going to read from my new collection, which is called Honored. Um, are you not going to read the poems that you gave me? Yes, no, they are from the new collection. Okay, good. Um, and I think the first poem that will come up is called Jews, is that right? Yes. Just before you um, put it up. Well, um, okay. Thank you. Thank you. My brother, can I have a hand for my brother? <laughs> <laughs> I, I better warn you, Claude, the first one is a bit sad or, and serious, but the next one is okay. jolly, right. but the last line is a bit sad, okay? He doesn't like sad things. He's a musician. Okay, so look, I'm a Jewess uh, who writes from the heart of the English language. Um, by that I mean the, the language that the British speak. Um, <laughs> uh, the poem I'm going to read um, is dedicated to Czesław Miłosz, a Polish writer, whose work demonstrates an understanding of European anti-Semitism under whatever soubriquet it appears. Um, I'm not published in Salamander, but I hope I will be. <laughs> There's no doubt it's an amazing periodical and we all aspire to, uh, to put a footstep in, 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 into America via that route. Although I have to say, a big event for me was when my poetry made Aliyah. That was really important to me. Um, but. A word about being a British poet at the moment, a British Jewish poet, a woman. Um, my subjects have been chosen for me. And a lot has been said at this conference about art and poetry and um, perspective. And very little has been said about the situation as it stands in this country. And I find myself in a position that perhaps I uh, choose it, but I feel impelled. I find myself constantly in a position where I have to speak out in England because the majority of Jews speak only to each other and they are struck dumb. So you will meet lawyers, you will meet doctors, you will meet writers. I know a lot of writers who will talk to me and who will try and provoke me into mm -hmm. writing, but they will not speak out because it's a bad career move. It's a bad career move. You can't speak about Israel. It's an issue that um, is very laden, and the issue is delegitimization. It's not 